This video will cover the topic, Evaluating Expressions with Exponents of Zero. In this video, we will be learning how to evaluate expressions raised to the zero power. The one thing we need to remember for this topic is that any non-zero number with an exponent of zero is one. We write this rule as a to the zero equals one, as long as a is not equal to zero. For example, 10 to the zero power equals one. Why is it one and not zero? A number being raised to the zero power is not being multiplied by zero. We should think of it as being used as a factor zero times. We can think of this a number of other ways. One way is to pretend we don't know what a number to the zero power is and try to get a pattern. Let's take two for example. Two to the negative two is one fourth. And two to the negative one is one half. 2 to the 0, we don't know yet, 2 to the first power equals 2, and 2 squared equals 4. The pattern is 1 fourth to 1 half to question mark to 2 to 4. We see that when we move down this pattern, each number is multiplied by 2. For example, 1 fourth times 2 is 1 half. 2 times 2 is 4, therefore 1 half times 2 should be the answer for 2 to the 0 power. 1 half times 2 is 1, therefore 2 to the 0 power equals 1, which also complies with our formula a to the 0 equals 1, 2 to the 0 equals 1. We can also think of the concept of a to the 0 equals 1 as a to the 1 minus 1 power. This can be rewritten as a to the first power times a to the negative first power. Remember with the product rule of exponents that we add the exponents together of exponentials that have the same base. Therefore, a to the first power times a to the negative first power equals a to the 1 minus 1, or a to the 1 plus negative 1. Now, a to the first power times a to the negative first power is also written as a over a, which equals 1. What if we have negative numbers raised to the 0 power? Great question. Let's look at two examples. Negative 3 in parentheses to the 0 power, and negative 3 in parentheses to the 0 power. In both, we are still dealing with the number 1, but we have to make sure we follow the order of operations to get the sign correctly. In the first example, we have negative 3 in parentheses first, and then that is raised to the 0 power. What is the answer to that? So the answer is 1? Yes, it is. Now what about the second example? We have positive 3 in parentheses first, which is then raised to the 0 power, and the negative is distributed to that. The answer is negative 1, then. Great job. This is a powerful concept. If I see anything non-zero that's raised to the power of zero, then it is one. If I have a complicated problem dealing with the simplification of exponential expressions, I'll be sure to look out for any zero powers first. That could really save me some time. 